really need a left defender. I mean, I'm, I'm hanging on to this, um, you know, Bradley Gibbings, who, I mean, the thing is that he has very slender stats in here. He's fast, decent first touch determination, but although my guys think he's superlative in that role and he's a reasonable fit here, just some of these stats are concerning. So you think he's Van Rama North at the moment. It's only his potential that could go up. Yeah, he might be. He might be as good as Wes York. He might be only as good as Matt Lowe. And I need a left defender. Is Ryan Corrigan my man? Is Richard Taylor my man? He's good as a no-nonsense, but he can also play wing-back and full-back on defence. He's got decent pace, 12, 13 is good. Dribbling is not too bad. He can't cross, so not offensive. He's determined, works reasonably hard. His defensive stats are solid, if not spectacular. Mm. This is going to take some thinking. So you can cross, you would actually present a threat from fullback position and your defensive stats are better. But you don't have the stamina at this stage. Admittedly, you're only 20. We could work on that. I don't really want to play Lewis Lomas in the uh, left winger role. So he can't dribble or cross either. He's better as a central defender, I think, even though his jumping reach is quite low. He's got decent anticipation. Okay. Excellent positioning, work rate, pace is not too bad. Some of these other things. And just as an aside, is there anybody in here who can do a free kick? Bobby Carroll can do a free kick. Sort of. What about corners? No. Ass. Okay, I'm definitely going to leave it there. I'm getting tired, but I'll carry on going through this and um, see if we can get a shot of those old players, get some new ones in, and we'll carry on with our uh, friendlies. Um, we've got Grimsby next, uh, then Northampton a few days after. Um, and then we've got Wembley, Reading, Notts County, NNW, National Under-18 League. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to be losing that unless we hire some specifically some 17-year-olds and develop them up through our squad. But um, I'm not sure that's going to be on. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You join us just a few minutes in uh, to this friendly match, Brackley Town against Grimsby. Uh, Grimsby considered substantial favourites here, but Brackley are already uh, on the front foot. James Armson uh, wins a corner for Brackley Town in seventh minute. Armson swinging in across, and Levu. And I couldn't direct it. Grimsby kick it back into play. But, uh, fancied forward Asante there with the header. Grimsby start playing the ball around. 
They kick it a long way forward, but Dean's got that covered. Armson outs to Matt Lowe on the right wing. He goes out wide. He's making a line for the byline. Can he get a cross in? He can. Uh, it's a bit wayward, I'm afraid. Grimsby be Havowitz now in midfield. York with the interception. Dean to trialist Corrigan. Shepard to Lavu. Gives it to Asante for the run. She takes a shot, but it's just over. Excellent play by Brackley there. Uh, Brackley playing at home. This is uh, St James Stadium. St James's Park. Uh, clearly not the St James's Park, but a St James's Park. Well, it is the St James's Park to the Brackley fans. That's some good defence there from Corrigan. But Grimsby have a corner now. How good are they against set pieces? Frankly noted as not being great at set pieces themselves. Ooh. Danny Lewis called into action there, manages to make a catch at the uh, near post. It's Dean and York. Shepherd up to win Lavu. Passes it back to Lomas. Patient play here by Brackley. Up to Asante. And Lavery's spotted a run by Armson, who's in here. Oh, fantastic goal. James Armson bursting from midfield. And Levy, the provider there. Fantastic play. Some nice short passes. That incisive pass. Armisen's run. Despairing dive by the goalie, but Armisen's placed it well. Grimsby have to regroup here. They've... Uh, Not seen goal yet, really. Maybe this is their chance. Sears to the right wing. Corrigan again blocks his cross. It's another set piece. They got a header on target last time. Can they go one better this time? Hunt swings it in. It's headed out to Matt Lowe. Brackley on the counter. Matt Lowe. Sante making a forward run. Lowe goes past the defender. And Lovu back post. Oh, it's a left foot shot, but not on target that time. But some good signs here from Brackley. McAfee. Swings it in, Corrigan is there covering. He's had a good game so far, Corrigan. It's a shot. Lewis parries it. Oh no, I don't think he got a finger to it. Referee's called a goal kick. Okay. Well, they're playing out from the back now. First time we've seen Richards on the ball. He's out to Matt Lowe again. Back to Richards. Armson there, providing some support. You can see how eager he is to uh, move up into an attacking position here. And Shepard. Sees so Asante. Very patient play here from Brackley. That is a wayward pass up front looking for a run there never was. Giving the ball away. They've put themselves under pressure here. Papaga. Oh, the finishing was poor. But Grimsby nearly hit Brackley on the uh, on the break there. Brackley have a free kick, low to take. York at the back post. That's easy to catch for the keeper. And there was an offside there as well against Wes York. Don't think it was clear cut as all that, but anyway, Asante with the ball. His cross is blocked. It's another corner. Armson to take into the uh, six yard block but it's headed away where's York now he's going over to the right hand side finds Jordan Richards 
Asante! Ooh. Over the crossbar. Where's York chasing all the way back to take that? Now he's dribbling in. Oh, he's lost the ball. It's captured again. Asante finds Armson. Driving at the defence, out to Matt Lowe. He goes for his favourite position on the byline. He gets a cross in. York on the back post. Gets it goalwards, but McKeown has the uh, beating of that. Clutches it gratefully to his chest. So they say. Sousa, 18 yard box. It's a shot. Lewis catches that, plucks it from the air. What a fantastic save that was. It's Armson with a free kick. Oh, straight into the wall. Lomas collects. Good ball skills there from the central defender. York brings it in, but uh, Grimsby managed to clear it. Richards. Now Papago for Grimsby. Oh, that was a foul. It looked like Richards. Oh, yes, he deserved that yellow card. That was a bad foul on the Grimsby player. I think that was probably a slightly um, show-offy dive there from the goalkeeper from Grimsby. The uh, free kick really not troubling him. As previously mentioned in the training report from Brackley, Matlow is not the best free kick taker, but he is perhaps the best they have. Lewis gratefully holds on to the ball for the moment. Again, probably going for a short distribution here, maybe to... Oh no, he's going for a kick. He's seen Wes York making a run. Now it's Lien Lovu who's going to beat the two defenders to the ball. Can he cut it back in? Back to Shepard. Armson. The shot is blocked. And Caffey now for Grimsby. Grimsby looking for the break. No, he passes it back to the keeper. And McKeown hoofs it long. Nobody there but Brackley players. Hunt with a corner for Grimsby. Over the bar from Fox at the far post. Well, I think from the point of view of chances, Brackley have had the... Uh, had the run of play this half. We're coming up to the 40th minute now. Grimsby will be looking for that half-time goal. Uh, looks like uh, Brackley have changed to a more balanced... or are going to be making changes to a more balanced tactical style. Looking to hold on to their uh, slender lead into the half-time dressing room. Dean, 10, Lovu. Where's York? Running at defence. There's a whole raft of Grimsby players in front of him. Asante finds low. And Lovu inside. There's a shot. <gasps> Rattled the woodwork. Unbelievable. Asante shot. This amazing young player found by Brackley is in great form during these friendlies. Can't wait to see what he will do during the league proper. Armson. Oh, that was a beautiful back heel there to Enlovu. Shepard into York. York takes a pump. Way wide. Couldn't keep it down. But shots coming in from all over the place now, Brackley. Looks like Asante has taken a knock, which is unfortunate. We will uh, frankly look like they're letting him play out the last minute or so of this half. Frankly, Town clearly loving this uh, short tiki taka style passing technique that they are working on. Asante now. Great ball to Lowe. Lowe harried to the byline, but he's beaten his defender. Asante with a header. Oh, just the keeper managed to block it. Corrigan recovers. Second ball in. Asante again with the header. Wow. 
this player works hard for his team. We hope he uh, doesn't have to be changed at half time, but he might be. Right. Yeah, doing well getting shots away, keep going. Right, let's just uh, have a look at my conditioning. Sensei took a knock, he's having a, a game. But let's um, put Bradley Rot on to protect him for the moment. I think everybody else is going to be fine. Hop back to the dressing room. Start the second half. Some of the young players on the bench there looking a bit anxious. This is just a friendly, but it is against a seriously good team in Grimsby Town. Brackley won up at half time. Start the second half in a balanced mode again. It's an optimistic ball forward by Gareth Dean. Looking for low, but not finding him. And Corrigan forward, Lee. Where's York? Shepard to Armson, holding the centre of the park. Back again. Circulates around the central defenders. Armson, seemingly the central link in this Brackley team for the attack. Lomas to Armson. Back to Lomas again. To Gareth Dean. Patient build up here. Shepard round to Armson. Rolt. Spots and runs. Armson again. Long shot. It wasn't far off. So, Brackley stating their business as best as they can. Brackley now returning to a positive tactical play style looking to turn the screws on the Scrimsby team but before that happens Scrimsby are on an attack are snuffed out by the Brackley team and now there's a counter and love them back to Corrigan Shepard in defence midfield Gareth team does a bit of running with the ball Brackley team respond, moving forward. Pass to Lee and Levu. York now, making an incisive run on the left. We have to cut back on his right foot. Back to Corrigan. Back to York. Penetrating. Lee and Levu nearly got a header in the way there. Beaten in the air by the Grimsby defender. There's York. On his right foot. Has a punt, but Grimsby come away with the ball. Grant. There's a player ahead to him to the left, but Armson covers. Shepard to Armson. Sees Lowe on the outside. Lowe has a run to the right hand wing. Brackley players gather in the centre of the box. Jordan Richards to Lowe. Brackley have a corner. Brackley players line up. Some big headers there at the near and far post. Grimsby headed away as York recovers. Corrigan now. Ball loses the ball. Grimsby makes some swaps, gets some fresh legs on the field. Looks like Brackley are holding off for the 60th minute. Rolt loses the ball again. Certainly in his last friendly match he did seem to have a tendency to uh, make some wayward passes there. So maybe he'd better be uh, put on as a poacher rather than uh, a pushing attacker. Pressing, sorry, not pushing.
It was a wayward forward ball looking for Rolt, but uh, just found Grimsby defence. Now Grimsby have managed to get behind Brackley, but uh, offside was called. I think Gar um, Danny Lewis had the measure of that one anyway. Grimsby looking a bit more measured on the uh, forward foot. Parga, the 18 yard box is inside the box. Hunt swings it over to right, the header, and Lewis just about manages to tip it wide. We can got close there, but uh, still no goals. Well, we've got the 65th minute coming in, so Brackley Town are looking like they're making some changes. So Ellis Miles comes on for Jordan Richards. Um, Lewis Lomas is looking tired. So, Jordan Cullinane, the bird, comes on. Uh, Bradley Gibbings for Matt Lowe. And we have Ollie Sims on for Wes York. Gareth Dean, central defence, he's having a good game. But let's see Jake Goodrich in central defence. Some anxious players on the field, so it seems. And play continues. Oh, going with a long shot. Oh, my word. That is a fantastic long shot from Corrigan. <laughs> Unbelievable play by the youngster. Well, he's certainly showing his manager what he can do. Good build up play here. Goodrich just on the pitch, but Corrigan, look at that. Left foot shot. Top corner. Goalkeeper had no chance. 2 0 Brackley. I think Grimsby are going to be disappointed with the chances they've created here. They're going to have to up the tempo somewhat if they're going to get anything from this game now. Brackley hassling the Grimsby players. They have a pressing style. Grimsby are playing it around the park, pulling these players around, looking for an opening. Taylor to Grant. Back to Coke. The Parker. Taylor. Clifton. Some nice passing here, but is there going to be an incisive pass? They've swung it out to the right. Corrigan they're covering. Midfield reinforcements come in. Grimsby now with four up front. There are three in the box. Swings over. Kulinay the Bard gets a header away. Another one comes over. Taylor this time. That's a goal back for Grimsby. Ryan Taylor. And really it was the uh, crossover from Revan on the left wing that uh, neatly dissected the Brackley players. Perhaps a suspicion of some poor marking there by Brackley's defence. And it was Goodrich perhaps who uh, just on the pitch. Little lapse of concentration.
Bradley Rolt now. Passing back. Patient build up. You can see the Bra Brackley manager is urging the team into a more attacking mode. Just looking to establish that two goal lead. Going to be defending for all they're worth. Again, patient play by Brackley trying to open up gaps. Giddings tried to make a run there, but the defender has the beating of him. Miles with the throw. Bradley Rolts crosses it over. Looking for Sims. Now oh, it's Brackley on the defence. You can still see their pressing style here, and they've won the ball back. Now it's Rolt. You can see people moving on the right. Gibbings. Armson to Miles on the overlap. His cross is blocked. It is a corner to Brackburn. Swing to the back post. Misses everybody and goes out for a throw on the far side. Again, Brackley's weakness on the set piece. That is a ball into nowhere from a free kick. But a mistake by the Grimsby goalkeeper and it goes out for a corner. Oh dear. If this goes in, Crockham is going to be upset with himself. Good header there, but no, he makes amends by catching that cleanly. Well done. goes up a long way but Parker has, has got well he looked on the side to me but the linesman thinks otherwise sorry not linesman <laughs> assistant that is an interesting ball but it looks like people just have tired legs now they might be struggling just a little bit Good ball to Gibbings. The bird in defence now miles up from that is a fantastic ball. Gibbings cross it must be. Oh great play by Brackley. Another way which corner doesn't nothing comes from it. Sims now collects the ball. Whacks it an early cross in, but it's too close to the goalie here again. An over acrobatic dive. Right. It's going to be some changes again. Looks like. Um, Corrigan, who's had an amazing game, uh, comes off to the applauds of the small amount of crowds here. Um, we have Shepard has uh, had a good game today. Uh, Alex Prosser is on for him. Uh, Glenn Walker possibly playing one of his last games for Brackley Town before he heads elsewhere. Uh, He's on for James Armson. And Leanne Lovu. Don't really have another striker to replace him. So what we can do maybe is Bradley Gibbings on for Leanne Lovu. And then Will Rickard on on the right wing. And confirm changes. Let's go. Badly rocked. Oh, keeper nearly spilled that. Put himself in the back of the goal. It's a long kick. Snuffed out by Brackley. They build again from the back. Shepard to Lee and Lovu, back to Corrigan. Now 
arms from the linchpin to Rolt and Lovu. Good run by Gibbings. It's a blasted shot but tipped over. A sudden decisive attack there. Shouts of encouragement from the side. Gibbings to Sims. It's a ball through to Vault. Works it all the way out to Ricard, who's just on. There's Miles. Walker trying to run into the box, but didn't quite make it. However, Ricard wins a corner. 23 shots on target from Brackley Town compared to 8 from Grimsby. As the scoreline doesn't quite reflect the dominance in possession that Brackley have shown. 65% of the ball. Grimsby rocked by their part-time opponents here. Or oh, it's a good effort from Sims, not too far over. Crockham probably had the match of that one. Final play from Grimsby to try and salvage some pride. It's a complete battering that they got from here. And it looks like uh, Brackley are being urged to take the pace down for the last five minutes. Krokombi started to go long looking for Taylor. Coke has the ball but no, somebody was offside there. Brackley playing the offside trap well. Miles has the ball to Prosser. Livard. Ball long way forward that is a cracking pass to Ricard. Ricard swings it round on his left. Bradley Rolts wins a corner. Still Brackley playing as if they need another goal, not resting on their laurels. Sims to take the corner. Ricard on the back post now. Wright comes away with it. Jostling with the Brackley player, but he's got more pace than him. Manages to dodge away. Gibbings comes all the way back from attack. Cleared by the birds, takes no chances. Wigan is a Grimsby corner. Spokes swings the ball in. The birds got it out. Often shot, blocked. Ricard clears it. But no, somebody was offside. Just a few minutes here to play at St James's Park. Brackley have been totally dominant on the ball. But they're starting to flag now. As uh, Grimsby keep up the pressure, looking for uh, something to salvage from the end of this game. Walker manages to make a key interception there. Grant's shot is blocked. Another offside. Grimsby have committed 15 fouls during this friendly. It's been a bit of a bad-tempered game on their part. The only yellow card was uh, for Jordan Richards of Brackley Town. Sims now. Gibbings. Awesome. Back to Sims. Gibbings looking forwards. Rolt. Couldn't make it past the uh, defender. Knocking the ball around the 18-yard box. Ricard. Manages to get a cross in. Floated in, second chance. That was a cheeky one, that, from Ricard. I don't think uh, anybody was really expecting it. Things back to Prosser. Rolt. Can somebody from Brackley find that incisive pass that just cuts the defence open? They're being held well. Grimsby defending valiantly on the 18-yard line. Sims swings one in. 
Ricard with the header, but it's over. There'll be four minutes to play. Last gasp for Grimsby now. They've looked threatening in the second half, but nothing has come of it, really. And the ball's gone a long way forward, aiming for Bradley Rolt, who's got it to Gibbings. And now to Sims, out on the left wing. What can Sims do with it? Passes there in support. Gibbings across to Walker. Walker spreads the play wide. Miles. Back to Miles. He's found the run of Rickard here on the right wing. Wall, but the ball's been taken off of Miles by Grant. And now Grimsby are on the counter. Coke on the left. Brackley plays streaming back to defend. Miles blocks the cross. Rickard heads up and now Brackley counter the counter. Bradley Rolt. Rickard now on the right wing. Chooses to slow it down. Back to Miles. Well, we've got just over a minute left to play here. And Brackley Town have put on a real show. They've been good value for their one one goal lead, one goal advantage, coming up into the last minute. We've seen a lot of shots on goal. It's Grimsby now who are threatening. Ball goes over everybody in the box and it's Rickard to pick it up and move it out of the Brackley half. He's got two runners ahead of him. Ooh, but Reven, good defensive slide there, dispossesses the Brackley man. Miles, time's wasted a little bit. Rolt heads it to Ricard. And Ricard now has two men on him. Oh, that was just a blatant push there by Grant. Obviously the frustration just getting to the Grimsby man. Well, everybody's a bit tired out there now. I think I'd be surprised if the, uh, yeah, the referee has called it now. A good win for Brackley against a superior team, albeit at home, but uh, Corrigan had a great match there um, and some nice touches also across the uh, Brackley team. The manager has to be very happy. Well done, everybody. So, tremendous performance to gain a 2-1 victory over Grimsby. Remember, Grimsby Town are in the Vanarama National League, so they're in a league above us. Um, James Armson gave us the lead in the 15th minute, and then Ryan Corrigan doubled it with a curling shot to the top corner, 23 metres out. That's fantastic. Franklin is due to sign. We've confirmed the deal. So that's £300 wage. Goes off our budget. And they have signed Franklin. He has been a fantastic servant for the club, Connor Franklin. Um, but now it leaves the Brackley team looking for a new left defender. We like the look of Ryan Corrigan there. His 10 to 14 crossing is certainly welcome. There's the pace. His defensive stats are good. Good decision making, good determination. He's quite aggressive. He's not winning anything in the air, really. His technical skills are relatively low, but he's quite versatile. And he can play wing back as well. Coach operating at Vanarama North level but he could be a Sky B level one ba, 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 ba. well he's skillful and he can still improve anyway we'll wait until next time to see whether we sign him or not um, We've got plenty of other people to be looking at. Uh, need a backup goalie. Uh, we need to confirm 
the striker, whether we get hold of Asante or not. I really hope we do, but with other big clubs making offers, it's very likely that he will head to Northampton or somebody higher up in the leagues. Um, and good luck to him. But uh, as a consolation, maybe we will find other people that uh, will do us just as well. We have to make a decision on the second goalie. We've got a whole load of people in here and we're starting to understand a bit more about how good they are as goalkeepers. So I think we should be able to start making decisions. Three and a half. Four. He looks very good. Better than Danny Lewis, maybe. It's Vanarama North Standard player today. Could be up to Skybet 2. Or Oliver Bosworth. He's three and a half as well. He's maybe not quite up to Sam French right now, but he could be Skybet 1 in future. He's considered to have good distribution as well because his throwing, passing, kicking, teamwork and vision. His anticipation is excellent as well as his pace and his jumping reach. I think he is, uh, he looks like our man. His first touch can let him down, but everything else is looking strong. I think. Oh. Well, maybe he lacks a bit in determination, but with that anticipation, he might be very good. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care. Goodbye. Oh, I fought with lions and wolves, but I've never fought myself before. So for everything